Hi, everyone. Good afternoon, and welcome to CT Style. I'm Melissa Taglia, in for Teresa Dufour. It's Tuesday, and we have a really great show planned for you. So, again, thanks for joining us. Okay, we are talking about Valentine's Day and wedding jewelry. We have Ashik Designs in studio to help you pick out the right jewelry this season. And listen, I know a lot of us made New Year's resolutions, right, to stay on track. Keep it healthy. Well, we have Planet Fitness in studio as well to help you stay on track with those New Year's resolutions. We are so excited as well to have Sam in the kitchen. There he is. Hi, Sam. He is from the Kids Baking Championship on the Food Network. And it was like I was meant to fill in today, Sam, because you are making cookies and I can't wait. My favorite. Today's dish is presented by Stone Academy. If you wanted to doll up your pet, well, today is the perfect opportunity to do so because it's National Dress Your Pet Day. There's a holiday for everything. Here's a few pictures of my girl, Remy, wearing her favorite outfits. I say favorite. Who knows? She probably hates them, right? But hey, put on clothes, put them on your pets, make them look cute. There's Remy when she got fixed, and I decorated her cone as well. But of course, make sure they're safe and comfortable for your pets. Okay, let's show you what the Empire State Building was looking like. Lit up in purple and gold to pay tribute to LSU after their victory in the college football playoff national championship game. LSU won its fourth national title in school history by defeating Clemson 42-25 to in New Orleans. Congratulations to them. Well, when you have pretty much everything, right, like Kim Kardashian, who you see here, all gifts, I guess, need to be creative, which is something rapper Kanye West had no trouble with, certainly. That's right. He's very creative when it comes to gifts. So recently, he gave her a Cartier gold plaque necklace. But listen to this. It was very personal because... On that necklace was actually a text message that they exchanged previous, mentioning the couple's children, her work, and advocating for prison reform. And there she is, rocking her Cartier necklace. A photographer started taking selfies every day, and now, 20 years later, he's still taking them. Love it or hate it, selfie culture is in full swing, everyone. One photographer was ahead of the game between 2000 and 2020. Noah Kalina documented for more than 7,200 days with selfie. He's gone to school, moved, and traveled the world in that time, and all of that is seen in the background of his photos. Here you go. That's a time lapse of all of those selfies for you. Kalina plans to continue and release updates every 10 years for the rest of his life. So good luck, Kalina. The famed daredevil Nick Walenda has announced the location of his next high wire walk. He says it will be his most dangerous ever. ABC's Paula Ferris takes a look at the death defying stunts he's already pulled off. Take a look. Okay, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. A death defying walk 25 stories above Times Square. So much blood, so much sweat, and more tears than I've ever put into another walk. An 1800 foot trek over the raging waters of the Niagara Falls. Oh my gosh, it's an unbelievable view. Teetering without a safety harness over the Grand Canyon. Winds are way worse than I expected. These are the stunts that have earned Nick Walenda the nickname the King of the Wire. You guys watching think I'm crazy. This is what I was made for. But for Walenda, the risky walks are in his DNA. He's a seventh generation wire walker from the famed Flying Walendas. Now, Walenda is bracing for a new explosive stunt, taking his show to one of the most volatile and dangerous locations on Earth. Pretty amazing. Well, Linda's walk over the active volcano will air on March 4th at 8 p.m. right here on News 8. So looking forward to that. Okay, America's love affair with Winnie, or wine, rather. <laughs> you would think I had some, right? With wine. Well, it's not as popular. Americans bought less wine last year, the first such drop in a quarter of a century, as millennials opt for alternatives like hard seltzers, cocktails, and non alcoholic beer. This follows a broader trend of people looking for healthier and lower calorie choices.